Hey everyone, this is Craig and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. So today we are heading into our World Guild battle. We got benched for this one and we are up against Tao Miao. I'm just gonna be playing something fun over here. We'll tackle Huyen Vu's defense. There's a lot of LD net fives and I'm only gonna be using cleave units for today. So these will be the units that we'll be bringing in for today. We'll be running the Miang Kali and the Taru over here for the first one. I hope we can kill off the Tianlang in one night because Tianlang with the HP leader, pretty sure it's going to be very tanky. And then we're just going to Lucian the second one as well. Uh, next up, the Neftis Cleave with the Kaki, I think should be okay. I believe we should be able to move first. But yeah, I don't have the best of Swifts on my Water Azio at the moment because when you're running five Cleave comms, you know, your runes are all spread out on these units where you need to be pretty fast. So we're gonna run the double battle angels and the praline at the end as well. So we kind of exhausted all of our swift runes over here. And hopefully it's enough to bring down these kind of flashy defenses. Uh, we're just gonna go for the buff here. Can we one-shot the Tianlang? Please. Oh, he's still alive. I need to use the second skill here, man. Oh, fuck. Five stacks. Oh, Miang is dead. Oh, not enough to bring down this Odin as well. <laughs> ah, the runes on this team, not that great. But I think I need to remove the first life of the Odin. Thankfully, no violent proc. So we can... Oh, we don't have the skills yet, bro. Oh, last hit. Oh, this is clutch. Because I do believe I have the Furious Pierce. So we're just gonna use it onto the Odin. Adriana hits Kali, right? Okay. Don't touch my Taru, we are fine. <laughs> so we're just normal attack here. Okay, this is perfect. Man. Didn't go as smooth as I thought though. Yeah, we are lacking a little bit of damage because once again, I'm spread out in terms of my rune quality on all these five sets of units that I'm bringing for today. Okay, so we locked in the first round. I think this one is a very simple Lucian. Probably the Byeongchul survives. Yeah, but that's about it. Stun. Oh, wait. The damage not that great. Okay, we got the heal block off. I don't like the additional turn though. Oh, Lucian died. Okay, I think this kills. Everything very close, eh? <laughs> okay, can we have something smoother? We outspeed this Ezio. This is good. Okay, no violent proc on his side. Come on. Two units down, even with the attack debuff. My Kaki's damage pretty high. And the Neftis is gonna go down here. Alright, perfect. Fourth round. This one... I feel like we gotta kill off the Clara first, eh? Alright. Dismount the Savannah. Armor break. Good. Stun. Yeah, this should kill. 3v1 against Tessarion. As long as he doesn't aim my Isabel, we're fine. But he's so squishy. For this one, we are gonna go for the buff and potentially snipe off the Volantis first. I think that is the plan, right? And then we got the second God Crush for the Pontos. I'm just gonna go for it. Ah, he's so tanky as well. Did I misplay here? I should have just killed off the Salah, right? Leave the Pontos last. Yeah, I think that was the play. Oh, shit. Come on, man. Okay. So we trade the Claire for the Pontos. We got the God Crush. We're just gonna use it. Okay, 45,000. Everything didn't go smoothly, but still, 5 out of 5. Bro, this guy is so flashy. He has like what? Duck Yennefer, Shazam, Nigong Kiki. 
the light Adriana, Sylvia, Fermion, Akoma, Maximilian, <laughs> Nikki, and Eludia. Jesus Christ! That's literally 12 LD that he already placed on his defense, this guy. But can the cleave prevail? Okay, Nigon goes down. Kiki dies as well. But that's a revive. Oh my god. Yeah, the end your buff, man. So Kiki is gonna wake up again. Yeah, the Nigong is gonna buff over here. Two units back, but they're all very low on health. We gotta kill off the Kiki, man. I think we normal attack. Should have enough damage output. And then we can just go for the jet attack here. No crit. But I think we are fine. So we got the crit rate buff again. This unit goes down. Nigong, we kill him off twice, alright? So no more revives. This should do it. Okay. Starting off strong here for the second one. Should I just snipe off the Shazam? Yeah, we're just gonna risk it. He survives last hit! <sighs> this one misplay, man. I'm pretty certain we could have brought down the Dark Yennefer, honestly speaking, and then we one-shot the Mogwall. Because Shazam is HP unit at the end of the day. Yeah, I risk it for the biscuit. No point. Didn't, didn't work. Okay, never mind. Okay, armor break onto those two units because Akroma passive OP. Everything doesn't really hit that hard on the opponent's side, eh? So we just try to bring down the Fermion Ice additional turn. Akroma don't stand a chance because... Yeah, no life steal. This one on Violin. Even if it's on Vampire, it doesn't lie still enough. So pretty easy. Alright, we outspeed here. This one confirm everything dies. No way in hell they survive. 22,000 a pop. And last but not least... The Vampire not having any runes though. So we just finish off the series here. Pretty tanky but not enough to sustain. We just remove the Vampire for safety measures and we do have 3 units against the Asher. Alright? So I think at the end of the day, if I didn't misplay that one... Yeah, we should have just killed off the Dark Yennefer first. We could actually get 5 out of 5 over here as well. <laughs> not bad, not bad. But obviously I think this guy... His runes is all over the place because we did see some units with... Like half attack bar or some sort. So not bad, but I prefer not to use five cleave on uh normal sieges because so far from what I saw over here, it didn't go as smooth as I thought. Everything a little bit of hiccups here and there. If they manage to violent proc a few times, probably we die, you know? So that's gonna be it for this one. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Take care, stay safe my friends. I'll catch you guys in the next. Peace out.